Hello! Welcome to Faith of a Child Box videos, helping your family become saints together. Today we're going to be paint, doing our peg doll paint along for Saint Gaspar del Buffalo. And his feast day is October 21st. And so what those supplies you need from your box are your paintbrush, your paint pot, and your blank male pig doll. And then I also suggest you have a cup of water, a paper towel, and something to cover your clothes. I've said it before, I'm always going to say it, the acrylic paint will stain clothes. It'll come off your hands. I already got it all over my hands. It'll come off your solid surfaces and with, with soap and water, but the clothes, it's a lot harder to get off of. And so I suggest you wear an apron or have a paint shirt and something to cover your clothes. So let's get started on St. Gaspar. So we're going to depict him a little bit older in life. And so we're going to make him some gray hair just to make it distinct from his cassock. And you'll notice you don't have gray, but thankfully acrylic paint mixes really well to make new colors. So we're going to take some more black and our white, and we're going to mix them up here in the paint lid. And if you've already done Saint, your St. Therese peg doll for this month, then we did this with the white and red to make pink for her. And so I'm going to take some black, put it up here. There we go. And then I'm going to clean this off so I don't get black in the white. I do need it for a little bit today. And I've got a bunch of white over here. I'm going to make his hair pretty gray, gray today. And I think you can see, depending on the amount of the mix of black and white, you add in, you can make his hair a little more um, black or a little more gr light gray. And I'm not going to mix it all the way to give it a little bit of texture. I like leaving some of the streaks in it for the hair. I think it looks really cool. So I'm happy with my color. Like, And you can see some examples of this one is Little Birds. And she made him have really light colored hair. Um, and then my two samples that I've done myself um, kind of have a darker color. So whatever happens, it will look awesome. To paint his hair, we're going to find a spot in the middle of his head here. And we're going to mark that spot. And we're going to take that and pull it down to the bottom of the head of the doll. We're going to take over here, do the same thing down to the bottom of the doll. And I like to draw a line around the neck here. And then you're just gonna go and fill in this whole side with your hair color. All right, so now we've painted the whole back of his hair. And St. Gaspar, if you can you can see in, in the art depicting him and in the image that we included on our, uh, our St. card, he's kind of got this little spot in his hair that, that sticks forward. It's actually what's left, I think, on his uh, receding hairline as he goes bald there. But we're going to depict that just to make him a little unique. And you can see it looks a little different in each of the ones I've painted. Here, I like this one the best. We're gonna try to mimic that one, but we will see what happens. There we go. Kinda looks like he has little bangs. So now we're done with our gray. I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush. If I can see too much of the color when I get on here, I like to clean it off again. Next, we are going to move on to, uh, we're going to do his Roman collar really fast. And just to let his hair have a little time to dry before we paint his face. So we're going to do a little rectangle here, white for his uh, Roman collar because he is a priest. So I want to show his... Roman collar at the top of his cassock. I'm just going to draw, find the middle of his face, 
draw a little rectangle with our white paint. Not big. Just a little for their little Roman collar. There we go. And we're done with that. And now I'm going to go ahead and do this again on his face. And if you've already done your St. Therese, you've heard me say this before, it seems a little silly to be painting basically the same color for their skin tone. But this has to do with when you um, go to seal your doll. It seals a lot easier if you have paint on every spot. So now we have his skin tone face done. I'm going to clean that off. And I'm going to actually go back to the white really fast because I forgot that. Um, I forgot I wanted to do something with that. And this is, I want to paint the bottom white. I like to paint the bottom of all of my paint dolls white, if I remember. And <laughs> this is for adding their feast day on the bottom of the cake doll. It's it's also for sealing them, but for writing, writing the feast day on it, I think it's easier when you have the white paint there. Especially versus another color, like his, the rest of his body is black for his cassock, so I wouldn't really want to do a black bottom and then try to write his feast day down. Next we're going to do his what he's holding in his hands. So he was a missionary priest and he is also known as the apostle of the precious blood. So the first thing we're going to draw is a gold chalice. Okay, so you can see my examples of chalices and little birds example. And this is a lot easier to paint than you would expect. Whoa, my gas bar is running away. So you're going to do this on the side over here. It's the left side as you're looking at it, his right hand. You're going to take your gold paint. You're going to start by drawing two triangles. So this one's going to have the white part on the top. And then draw the triangle down. And then you're going to draw the other triangle below it. They can be whatever size you want. Just have the tips meet there and you fill them in. Okay. And if you want, that is a chalice. It's a very simple chalice and it's nice and easy to paint. I like to round out um, the, the top part of the cup here. I'm just going to make, make the edges of the top here a little more rounded. Um, just kind of my personal style. But either way, it is a chalice. So now you're St. Gaspar is holding a chalice for the precious blood. The other part of St. Gaspar's uh, life that we're depicting here in his peg doll is the cross. And we're doing a cross because it's easier to paint than a crucifix, but St. Gaspar would go uh, to towns that were run by uh, bandits, uh, by the bad guys, some bad guys, and he would, um, and these people didn't know Jesus, so he would be instructing the ignorant <laughs> and he would set it up a crucifix, a huge crucifix in the middle of the town, in the town center. And then he would stand by it and preach all about Jesus. Um, and so that took a lot of bravery in these towns that were run by bad guys. And he was just out there saying, Jesus is the Lord. Um, and so that drew a lot of attention in probably a negative way from um, the people who ran these towns. Um, and so we're going to depict him with a cross to remember that part of his story, his bravery in him, um, demonstrating the spiritual work of mercy, of instructing the ignorant. And so we're just going to draw a little cross here in his hands with our brown. And I am drawing the details on his body first, just because he's wearing a black cassock and I don't like painting on top of black. I don't think the colors show up quite as well. All right. So now we need to let our um, little details on his body dry and we're going to go move on to his face. 
And if you have already done your St. Therese doll, you know my secret for drawing these um, perfect little circles or imperfect little circles on their, on their face. And so we're gonna use the back of the paintbrush for his eyes. And see, so you can see Little Bird uh, even did this and, and one of them got a little messed up and that is just fine. I think I just love the one she did and it's a great example that even if it's perfectly imperfect, you know, my six-year-old did this freehand. I didn't outline anything for her. Um, I sat next to her and painted this one next to her. Well, she did this one here. And so she just did this by watching, just like you're watching now. Okay, so we're gonna take our black. I'm gonna get it on the back of here. I'm gonna pick where his eye goes. I'm gonna do this, this eye first. And we're just gonna put a spot. That's probably a little too small since we're gonna put the little white bead on top of it. So I'm just gonna move this in a circle. I'm gonna add a little more paint and come over here for his second eye. And so that's the black part of his eyes right there. And then we're gonna move on and we're gonna do his mouth next because we can't do the white dots quite yet. Um, and mine is, my red is still pretty pink from doing St. Therese. I'll mix it up a little, maybe I'll have kind of a pink mouth. Um, and to get these fine lines for his mouth, you don't wanna get very much paint on your paintbrush. I actually put way too much. And just get a little bit on the edge there. Make sure you have a nice um, smooth tip on your, uh, a tight tip there on the edge of your brush. You don't want it going crazy places. And we're just gonna draw a little smile. And we always, I always put smiles on my paint dolls um, because the saints are happy in heaven. And there's very few paint dolls that I do that don't have smiles and those are really intentional, but generally they have smiles. They're happy to be in heaven. He's got very pink lips and I think they look super cute. And now we're gonna see. I don't think my cross is quite dry, but the and um, the chalices. So I'm just gonna start painting his cassock away from the cross. We'll start on the back of him. Um, and so the rest of his body is his cassock. We're just going to paint it all black because I am trying to keep these as simple as possible here. Just going to outline him. Again, it's perfectly imperfect. I might um, go back later and fill in the crucifix a little bit just to, since I covered it partly with the black paint. Once that's dry, let's try that out. Oh, I should probably set him up. Let's try that on one of these, see, see how that turns out together. Some black back over, or some brown back over for the black color. Seems to work out pretty well if you can get it thick. If you really mess up on what you're covering, you should be able to go back and recover it a little bit there. That's a really thick curve across that he's holding. Okay, so the last thing we need to do to make our St. Gaspar pig doll here is little white spots on his eyes here. 
I'm gonna make sure my black here is not shiny. You can see the, the shiny, hopefully you can see it on his body where I just painted versus the matte kind of, you can see on his eyes, you can really see it on his hair since that was the first thing we painted. That, that's what tells you if um, a part of it's dry or not. So for this, we're gonna use the back of the paintbrush technique again. I'm gonna get a tiny, tiny bit on there, just a tiny bit. And you are going to just barely touch. And again, just barely touch. And get the tiny little white dots on his eyes. And that is your St. Gaspar. Uh, St. Gaspar del Buffalo. And paint doll. And we did paint the bottom white to add his feast day. You can do that with a lot of different uh, methods. You can just use a ballpoint pen, kind of a gel pen, a sharpie. If you don't have any of those available and you're feeling brave, you can paint his feast day on. I'm going to show you that really fast. Not on the one that's soaking wet. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little black on the bottom of this one to make it work. So this feast day is October 21st, and I do encourage you to write these feast days on the bottom, just so you have them really handy at your fingertips. And also, my kids love to know whose feast day is, it is, so I look, if I look it up and I know that it's a peg doll they have, I can go say, go look at the bottom of your peg dolls and have them find it, and they kind of practice uh, they're reading a little bit, or uh, for my four, almost five-year-old now, um, I can write down the the date, and he goes and matches instead of reading. He's not a he's not a reader yet, and so he can match though, um, and so that is another activity they can do. Um, and then I'm just gonna show these off really fast. If you want to um, seal them. You can use the Mod Podge. The glossy one is the one I recommend, um, not the matte one. Uh, this is at Hobby Lobby. It's at um, Walmart, Michaels. Um, and this is actually the one I prefer that I highly recommend is polyacrylic and the clear gloss version. It is it is water-based. Um, my kids chew on this one on their peg dolls and then it will make your peg dolls last a lot longer. And this you can find at Walmart in um, near the paint section. And so please let me know if you have any questions about our little St. Gaspar peg doll. And we will see you next time.